Don't leave it out. Oh, it's Christmas time, and this is Get Your Own Back, and you're watching it with your host, Dave Bezzard. Hold it. This is hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Can we just stop Wait everything? Wait a minute. It's Kirsten O'Brien. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll explain it all later on. First of all, um, lads, can you just bring in the cage, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that's perfect. Wait a minute, what's going on? Uh, can you swing him in? Uh, whoa! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'll explain later, Dave. First of all, I think you'd better look at this. She's totally terrible. Please, Ravi, get hold of that big lever and get you out back! You've gone too far. You've spent the last nine series of Get Your Own Back humiliating adults. You've <laughs> caged them, you've gunged them, and made them look like utter fools, including me. So now the time's come for us to get our own back. We're putting you on trial. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, then, where's the jury, eh? Ah, we have a jury. <laughs> Twelve men and women, good and true, <laughs> selected from today's <laughs> studio audience. <laughs> Jury, then. All right, so where's your judge? Aha, uh -huh. we also have a judge. Ladies and gentlemen, all rise, please, for the judge. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> 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 The judge would like to know who'll be conducting your defence. Uh -huh. uh, well, I suppose it'll have to be me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In that case, then, Mr. Benson Phillips, how do you plead to the charge of humiliating adults over the last nine series? Right. Uh, I plead not guilty. <laughs> they, yes, they all absolutely deserved it. I mean, look, take a look at this lot. I have the most irritating dad in the world. My musical dad really takes his job too far. He's the worst singer in the world. He's not singing, it's just painful. Then she jumps out and sprays my hair bright grey. He's really, really fast and food gets stuck in his moustache. Jogging pants and smart shoes. Yuck. Oi, Kaylee, pass me now, Varnish. Yellow trousers and red shirt. Yuck. I'm fed up with my karate teacher. He keeps making me do press ups instead of karate. He says he likes drawing. But what artist paints a whole house yellow? Yellow kitchen, yellow shower room, yellow bathroom, yellow front gate. It's embarrassing. She even stole our class guinea pig. Please dunk him, Dave. Please dunk him, Dave. Please dunk him, Dave. Hey, hey, they deserved it, didn't they? It. Oh. There you go. <laughs> your Honour, can I draw your attention, please, to the second piece of evidence from the prosecution? Namely, the outrageous faces pulled by Mr. Benson Phillips. Bye. 
bad. It's terrible. It's a disgrace. Well, if you think that was bad, just take a look at some of the faces that I've had to look at during this series. <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is objection overruled. Yes. All right, can we bring on the next piece of evidence, please? Bring on Exhibit A. As the court can clearly see that this here has been designed to just make utter fools out of the adult. The wheel here makes the adult dizzy. They become befuddled and, quite frankly, unable to function. In fact, let's have a look at some of these evil games in progress. Your Honour, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my job is to be on the side of the children. They need someone to help them get their own back. Isn't that right, everybody? Yeah! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! And these guys promote health, fitness and general well-being. Oh, please! It is true, it is true. Look, take a look at this. were invented not by a human, but by a machine. In short, a computer. And I present these plans, which I think you'll find will back that up. <laughs> oh, bloody! Oh, no! Well, those drawings weren't done by computers. Some of the best ones were actually done by our viewers. Look, take a look at the evidence. <laughs> oh, 
where the frog sits on a mini pad and is spun round by the adult and the child has to throw balls in the frog's mouth standing four metres away. and in the middle there's an island. And amongst the balls there are bones and the contestant has to get the bones and put them into the bowls. The adult is dressed as a spider. The child has to steal their money bags. children have to hang items of clothing on the washing line which is moving so they'll fall off and at the end of the game points are awarded for how many clothes are on the line. Mr Benson Phillips may be in prison garb at the moment but I can quite honestly say this is the most understated I've ever seen you look. Normally your dress sense is awful. Awful! Hey listen I happen to have impeccable taste. In Impeccable taste. Yeah. You've been inflicting nasty shirts on the TV audience for years. I present as my next piece of evidence, Mr. Benson Phillips' shocking shirts. Yeah. Can I just ask you, what's your favourite part of the show? Gunge. And uh, you, sir, what do you really like about the show? Gunge. And uh, your favourite bit, madam? Gunge. <laughs> I'm getting to the point, Your Honour. You see, the part of the show these people all like is actually the most humiliating part for the adult. But it's the best bit! Bring on Exhibit B for the prosecution, the gunge. Ah, yes, there's a terrible mixture made from all the most horrendous things imaginable. You see, when the adult goes into that gunge, it gets sort of in their eyes, up the nose, in the hair. Some people have never recovered from the experience. Uh, perhaps members of the jury would like to examine the evidence. Oh. <laughs> Listen to the testimony of these famous figures who've had first hand experience of the dreaded gunge. <laughs> Ever since my drop in David's slot, I've been unable to shop, play the euphonium, do the dusting. That man must be punished. Yes, even four years on, I, I, I still get nightmares in the middle of the night about wading through knee-deep gunge and not being able to escape. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a broken man. <laughs> You'll get your own back, I was a happy-go-lucky, outgoing type of guy. Then I was gunged, and since then I've been a celebrity recluse. Please rescue me from this, Your Honour, please. Eat them all! How many are left? Peter Simon, I used to be loved. Now I've got gunge on the brain and water on the knee. Need a tap on the head. It's quite terrible how these celebrity lives have been scarred. Oh, as I keep saying, they deserved it. All the adults deserved it. They asked for it, they got it. I mean, just take a look at the lot we've had this year. <laughs>
We've seen the evidence against Mr. Benson Phillips. Firstly, the faces he's pulled over the years, those terrible faces. And then, of course, there's the games he's forced upon the unsuspecting adults, the, the evil designs of those games. Well, they looked all right to me. Oh, don't forget, of course, the gunge. And then there's the fate of some of Britain's most best-loved celebrities. Yes, members of the jury, I believe that this man is guilty, guilty of terrible crimes, and therefore he must feel the full force of the law. Your Honour, I say, gunge him! Blobby! Blobby, blobby, blobby! Um, what's he saying? He says that, uh, have you anything to add? Um, well, well yes. I I've always been on the side of children. I've always worked for children. I hope that the jury find me not guilty. OK, jury, it's over to you. Oh. Jury, send him down. Yes, send him down, Your Honour. He's got to pay for this wicked behaviour. I say send him down. He deserves it. Send him down. That's what he deserves. You made your decision. Yes, we have. What's your verdict? We find Mr. Benson Phillips not guilty. Yes! 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 I thought that might change your mind. For your plunge in the gunge. Ah, <laughs> so, Dave, here we are. What? Well, we feel a bit sorry for you, so there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is, if you can get just one of the three questions we're about to ask you right, we're going to let you off. You can go free. How's that? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know what the bad news is? Yeah, what is the bad news? Mr. Blobby is going to be reading the questions. Mr. Blobby! <laughs> so, you are, you are going to translate, aren't you? Well, no, I don't think I can do that, actually. Mr. Blobby, first question, if you please. Is that it? Any ideas, Dave? <laughs> yeah, but what was the question? Ah, that you heard um, the question. Uh, right, uh, uh, yeah. Norway! Norway! Oh, close, but not right, I'm afraid. The answer is Holland. What do we do, everybody? Off we go! A little bit further from that gun. <laughs> question two, please, Mr. Blobby. Blob, blob! Blob, blobby! Blobby, blob! Um, um... Don't show him. Um, Any uh, ideas, please? Oh, Dave? I know. It's Mel B Spice Girls. It's not this time, I'm afraid. The right answer is actually 15. Oh! oh what yes. do we do? I've got to tell you, Dave, you've got to get this one right to save yourself from well, going Well, can you night. just do it? Please. No, 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 no. Mr. I Blobby, please. with you. No, no, no. I Third know. question. Silence for Blobby. Blob, Blob. Blob, Blob. Blob, Blob, Blob. Blobby. Uh, the author of Treasure Island was Robert Louis Stevenson. 
Oh, you didn't have much thinking time there. I can actually tell you the answer is it was signed at Versailles in the Hall of Mirrors in 1871. Dave, what can I say? Completely wrong! What do we do? Yeah. 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 What do you feel like there? Now, have a little look. What are you feeling like? Uh, long way up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big moment for me, Mr Blobby. I've got to just say this now. Mr Blobby, big moment. Get your own back! Oh, this is Christmas edition of Get Your Own Back. Have a fantastic Christmas, won't you? Should we have a look at Dave? Oh, no, no, no. Say goodbye, Dave! Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. Goodbye and have a happy Christmas. Goodbye, everybody! Oh, yeah.